receive abundant blessing in Jesus' name. God bless you tonight. We're coming together, and the message is divine solution through God's seven redemptive names. God has redemptive names, and it's the name that will deliver you from every attack and from every affliction and every problem in your life. That name will roll away in Jesus' name. What's the name? What's the name? Let me read to you from Isaiah well, chapter 12 and verse 2. And verse two. It, says, Behold, it says, Behold, God, God is, my is my salvation. I, I will trust him and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. In that verse, it mentions the name of God. What's that name? It says the name is Jehovah. That name is Jehovah. And that name is the redemptive name, the powerful name of the Almighty God. That name actually has seven other parts joined to Jehovah. And as I look at them one by one, it is this name, the powerful name of, of God, that brings total redemption to us and total liberation to us. What are those redemptive names? Number one, you'll find that in Genesis chapter 22. In Genesis chapter 22, we read from verse 8 how God introduced himself and introduced himself to Abraham, the father of faith. And that introduction tells us what who God is. Look at this, because Isaac was asking from Abraham. And Abraham said, My son, God himself will provide a lamb for a bond offering. So they went both of them together. I seek was surprised. Here they were going. And they were going to offer an offering to the Lord. And yet there was no sacrifice. That's why I seek was asking the father. Here is wood. And where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And then we are told in uh, verse 14. Look at verse 14 there. It says that Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh. That's the first redemptive name. The name of the place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said to this day in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. You are going to discover today that Jehovah Jireh will provide for all the needs of your life in Jesus' name. Our provision through Jehovah Jireh. Every need in your life, every situation in your life, the Lord is going to make complete provision and complete abundant provision for your life, for your life spiritually. For your life physically and for your life in the family. Every need you are brought in here today, the Lord himself is going to supply the need in Jesus' name. Number one, number one, our provision through Jehovah Jireh. Let me go to number two. Number two, we are now talking about our prevailing power through Jehovah Nisi. Number one is Jehovah Jireh is a provider. Number two is Jehovah Nisi. And Jehovah Nisi is the one in Sabana. Is a conqueror. Is the one that makes us to conquer. And in your life, every enemy you will conquer. Every difficulty you will conquer. Every challenge in your life you will conquer in Jesus' name. Actually, in Exodus, Exodus chapter 17, the children of Israel were going on their way to the promised land. And as they were going to the promised land, uh, then uh, the Amalekites confronted them. Enemies greater than them. Enemies that had power. 
enemies that were experienced in warfare. And then Moses said to Joshua, he said, go and confront them. I will stand on the mountain. And then as he went, Moses lifted up the rod. And every time he lifted up the rod, uh, the children of Israel conquered. And when he let down the road, then the Amalekites were conquering. So, oh, and Aaron, they came to Moses and they held up his hand. And the rod of the Lord was up all the time. And Joshua conquered. Are you there? I said, are you there? You will conquer. Christ on the Mount Calvary. He already pronounced. He said, it is finished. And tonight, all your problems are finished in Jesus' name. As Joshua defeated, as Joshua conquered all those Amalekites because they trusted in the Lord and they pointed the rod to heaven. As you point your heart, your height, your mind, unto heaven today, then the name of Jesus, the Jehovah Nisi, the Jehovah, our banner, and the Jehovah that conquers for us, he will conquer for you. I'm looking for that person there. I said he will conquer for you. Your enemies are conquered. Sickness is conquered. Evil powers are conquered. And all those demonic spirits that are tormenting your life, you have overcome today in Jesus' name. Blessed be the Lord that grants us the victory always. He will grant you the victory today. Number one is Jehovah Jireh. Number two is Jehovah Nisi. Number three now, I come to the thought, redemptive name of the Lord. And this is our peace through Jehovah Shalom. Our peace through Jehovah Shalom. Actually, the Midianites were against the people of Israel. And the Midianites came to fight against the people of God. The Midianites came and then Gideon was told that man of God, valiant man, a conquering man, a powerful man, rise up in this your strength and go and conquer. And he said, how am I a strong man? That's how you feel. You think you are weak and you think you cannot overcome. But I'm telling you, you are going to overcome. I am going to overcome. And as you come like Gideon, then the angel assured him that the Lord is with you. The prince of glory is with you. And the king of glory is with you. And that power of the Lord will make you overcome. Number one, he'll give you peace. He'll give you peace. When your mind is stayed on God, he will grant you the peace. In fact, he tells us that Jesus who died on the cross of Calvary, Jesus who paid the price for redemption, he became our peace. The sinner is like a troubled sea. He doesn't have any peace. But when Jesus comes in your life, peace will come to you. Pardon comes, peace will come to you. Forgiveness comes, peace will come to you. And today, I pray, as you connect with Jesus, the Prince of Peace, that peace will reign in your heart, in Jesus' name. In Judges chapter 6, I'm reading from verse 23, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto thee. And the Lord is saying unto you, peace be unto you. I said, the Lord is saying unto you, peace be unto you. Peace in your heart. Peace in your family. Peace in your profession. And peace everywhere you are, everywhere you find yourself, in Jesus' name. Heaven says, peace be unto you. And when heaven declares peace in your life, nobody can make trouble with you. All the troubles of your life, that wiped away even tonight, in Jesus' name. Peace be unto thee. Fear not, thou shalt not die. Who is the Lord talking to today? 
I said, who is the Lord talking to today? Coach will not kill you. Hypertension will not kill you. All the things happening in the world, pandemic will not kill you in Jesus' name. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Thou shalt not die. Now, now look at verse 24. In verse 24, look at what the Lord is saying. In verse 24, then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord and called it Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. And that is our Lord who gives us peace. He says, unto this day, it is yet in opera of the Abiezerites. Number one is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, a provider. And number two is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, a banner, and the Lord that makes us more than a conqueror. Number three is Jehovah Shalom, which is the Lord, our peace. And I pray that the peace of God will settle in your heart, even from today, in, Je in Jesus' name. Number four, remember, we're talking about the redemptive names of the Lord. And number four is Jehovah Shaman. Jehovah Shaman means the Lord is there. Actually, in the last verse of the book of Ezekiel, the last chapter, the last verse, it tells us on the last line there, the Lord is is there the presence is presence as jehovah shama the lord is here how glorious to know that jesus christ has said all power in heaven and on earth belongs unto him and then he says i am with you are you there i am with you i said are you there i am with you even to the end of the age the Lord is there. Right there where you are, the Lord is there. The Lord our Savior is there. The Lord our sanctifier is there. The Lord the baptizer and the Holy Ghost is there. And the Lord our healer is there. The Lord the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That Lord is there with you today. You will never lack in Jesus' name. He says... I am with you always in the night and in the day, anywhere, whatever challenges come your way. You remember, the Lord is there, Jehovah Shammah. I come to number five now. Number five is talking about the purity through Jehovah Sikeno. Jehovah Sikeno. You see, all that time in the old covenant, they tried to be righteous, they tried to be holy, they tried to be pure, they tried to live in holiness before the Lord all the days of their lives. They found it impossible, except some few people, few people like Enoch, few people like uh, Samuel, and few people like Daniel, and few people like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But the rest of the people, they found it impossible. That's when the Lord now revealed himself as Jehovah Sikeno, that he is the Lord, our righteousness. He will reveal himself to you. I said he will reveal himself to you. And then, not only that he gives you a revelation, he lives inside your heart. Jehovah, Sikeno, the Lord, our righteousness, coming right from heaven, and in his power, according to his promise, he comes to abide with you. And all the failures you had before, the Lord will turn your failures into victory. It will turn all your defeat into victory in Jesus' name. And look at this. It's in uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 and in verse 6. It says, in his days, in the day of the Lord Jesus, when the Lord will come, in his days Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. 
Have you seen those two connect connected words? Saved and dwell in assembly. As you come out to the Lord, you give your heart to the Lord, you give your mind, your soul, everything within you, you give to the Lord. As you are saved, you are secured. Give me a good, good amen. And in his days, in the days of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved, and then you will dwell safely. Security upon your life in Jesus' name. Going out, coming in, climbing mountain, going down, anywhere you find yourself, safety for you in Jesus' name. Look at this, now. look at this, hear this. And this is his name, whereby it shall be called the Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. In the original, that's where you find Jehovah Seed Canaan. In fact, it says that he will fulfill his promise and deliver us from all our enemies. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ already, he has paid the whole price. And now he delivers you from all your enemies. Which enemy can conquer you now? Which enemy can destroy you now? You know, the Bible says something very interesting. It says our life is hid with Christ in God. When you become born again, when you are a child of God, and when Jesus Christ comes and He is your Savior, He is your Redeemer, He is the Lord, your righteousness, He says, Your life is hid with Christ in God. It's like if you put a letter inside an envelope, and then you put that envelope in a big envelope, you see. Before they can get to that letter inside, they'll first of all get to the big envelope. And then after that, get to the smaller envelope, the big envelope, illustration, that's the almighty God. And then there's Jesus Christ, and then you are inside Jesus Christ. Before anybody can get to you, they'll get to the almighty God first. Before they can conquer you, they have to conquer the Almighty God first and then conquer Jesus, the Lord, who is our righteousness, and that is impossible. That's why I know that no enemy will conquer you. That, that he might deliver us from all our enemies. And then he says he'll make us to serve him in holiness and righteousness all the days of our lives. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The Lord will make you to serve the Lord. You might be in the office all the days of your life. In your family all the days of your life. In the community all the days of your life. In a crossroad all the days of your life. At the time of temptation all the days of your life. At the time of trial all the days of your life. In the morning, afternoon and evening. In the night and in the day. It says it will so purify you and sanctify you. Because the Lord is our righteousness and you will serve the Lord in righteousness and holiness. Tell me how long. I said tell me how long. Because he, Christ the Lord, is Jehovah Sikino, the Lord our righteousness. You remember that number one is Jehovah Jireh. Thank God all your needs are provided for today in Jesus name. And then Jehovah Nisi and you are going to conquer and you have victory over every trial, over in every battle. You have the victory in Jesus name. And then Jehovah Shalom that's the peace of God resting in your life. And thank God today he grants you peace, overflowing peace in Jesus' name. And Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Shammah, that means the Lord is there. And you will, he will never fail you. He will never fail me. I said he'll never fail me. Even today in this reign, 
his power will not fail you and then jehovah seeking you which means that he is your righteousness you are covered with the garment of the righteousness of the lord jesus christ i come to number six now and this you will find in psalm 23 is this is referred to originally is jehovah Raha. Jehovah Raha, and we have the plenitude. Plenitude, when you say something is plenty, 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 and it has no limit, when you say something is much, much more, much more, and it has no limit, the plenitude through Jehovah Raha. The Lord is my shepherd. Tell me, the Lord is my shepherd. You will not lack. I said you will not lack. And then he tells us in verse 2, he says, he maketh me. He maketh who? <clears throat> he maketh who? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. And then he leadeth me beside the still waters. And then in verse 3, he says, he restores my soul. Whose soul is going to be restored tonight? He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Look at verse 4. It says, Yea, yea, certainly, surely, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You stay in the rain, you fear no evil. You stay in the sun, you fear no evil. You go on the road, you fear no evil. You appear, you are going for the interview, okay, this week, you fear no failure. You will bring back success in Jesus' name. He says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. That Jehovah Shammah, for thou art with me. The presence of the Lord every time. And he has said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Look up here. The children of Israel did not all carry rods around. But only one man in the land of Israel at that rod, give me the name Moses, and then when they were by the Red Sea, thy rod, he lifted it up and stretched it to the sea, the sea will part for you. And when they came to the mountain, they didn't all carry rods around, only one person had that rod, and when he struck that rod, water came out. All the dry mountains in your life, water will come out in Jesus' name. And then I told you already that when there was war with the Amalekites and he stretched forth the rod, Joshua did not carry a rod. It was on the battlefield. The rod was in the hand of Moses. He stretched that up and then there was victory for him. The rod represents the word in the mouth of Jesus Christ. And you may not have the word. You may not know what to say. But Christ has lifted up the rod on your behalf. Victory is for you. We have the assurance of healing for you in Jesus' name. That's why it says, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Look at this one, numbers 5. In verse 5 it says, Thou preparest a table before me in a presence, in a presence, in the presence. The enemy cannot hinder your salvation. The enemy cannot hinder your provision. The enemy cannot hinder the promises of God in your life. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and then thou anointest mine edge with oil, and my cup, my own cup, my own cup, you will never lack again in your life. My my cup runneth over. And then it says finally, verse 6, it says surely, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I, you are getting there. And I, you will be there. And I, 
will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever in Jesus' name. Congratulations. I say congratulations. Why are you there? Shake my hand. I say shake my hand. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We're looking at all those redemptive names of God and every one blessing in all those redemptive names they are yours tonight in Jesus name. Number seven now is Jehovah Rapha. This is our perfect health from Jehovah Rapha. Our perfect health through Jehovah Rapha. Asthma is gone. Anya is gone. Cancer is gone. Tuberculosis all gone your blind eyes will open and those who are lame the strength of the lord the power of the lord will come upon you you rise up and walk in jesus name because we have perfect health through jehovah rapha it's in exodus chapter 15 reading from verse 26 exodus chapter 15 verse 26 and said if thou wilt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God and will do that which is right. You know, some people are wondering, what's that? And do that which is right. You know, Jesus Christ has been given to us to be our Savior, to be our healer, to be our deliverer. And the Lord said, whosoever will believe on him, will not see death, physical death, spiritual death, emotional death, any kind of death. And to do that which is right in the sight of the Lord, the Heavenly Father has pointed to Jesus. He said, that's my only begotten Son. I've given him to you to be everything for you. To do that which is right, you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And he says, if you'll do that which is right in his sight, if you don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you're not doing that which is right in his sight. If you reject, if you turn your back on Jesus Christ, your Savior, you're not doing that which is right. What is right now, what is right and proper in the sight of the Almighty God is that you will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son. And then he says, and you will give ear to his commandment. What's his commandment? He said, repent ye and believe the gospel. And if you give ear to that commandment, and say, yes, Lord, I believe. And I repent. I turn away from darkness. I turn away from idolatry. I turn away from uh, prostitution. I turn away from everything. Uh, the Lord is against. And I do that which is right. And I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There is something waiting for you. Redemption waiting for you. I said redemption waiting for you. The power of God that will keep you secured waiting for you today in Jesus' name. And then he said, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which are brought upon the Egyptians. I will put none of these diseases upon thee. Well, if the disease is upon you, you can't say, God put this on me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You put that disease on me. He said, he will not put disease on you. He will not put disease on me. You know, some people, when they are sick, instead of praying and trusting the Lord because he bore all our sicknesses, so our infirmities, instead of doing that, they say, it's the work of God. It's the work of God. They say cancer is the work of God. They say tuberculosis is the work of God. They say insanity, that's the work of God. Is that the work of God in your life? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth who went about, he anointed him with the Holy Ghost, and he anointed him with power, who went about doing good, and healing how many people? Somebody there tell me how many people? 
healing all that were oppressed of the devil, not of God. God does not bring sickness upon anyone. There will be no sickness upon your life. And then it says, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And that healing is here today. And it is yours. I said it is yours. It says, and I am the Lord that healeth thee. That is Jehovah Rapha. I am the Lord that healeth thee. That healing is coming to you right now. Anywhere you are, online, anywhere you are, in any congregation there, look away from every other sinner and look unto the Lord and understand. He has given us his redemptive names and because of those redemptive names, all the provision from Calvary and all the power from Calvary and all the victory from Calvary and all the peace from Calvary and the presence of God that is given to us from Calvary and the righteousness of God and the Lord your righteousness that is given to us everything will be yours and also all the all the presence of the Lord and all the plenitude and all the provision when he says the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want I shall not lack everything is coming to you and then the Lord Jehovah Rapha and he is our healer he is our deliverer I am healed I am healed. I don't know about somebody there, but I said for me, for me, I am healed. He is our savior. He is our sanctifier. He is our healer. He is our baptizer and the Holy Ghost. And he is the coming king. And as you give your life to the Lord, surrender your life to the Lord, it will reign in your life in Jesus' name. And where Christ rules in his redemptive position, official position, where Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Healer, our Conqueror, where, where he rules, Satan cannot rule there. Congratulations, Satan will never rule in your life again. We come to the end of this divine solution. And the Lord is telling you, he wants to be everything for you. He wants to be all in all for you. And as you are there and you say, I need this salvation. I need this forgiveness. I need this redemption. And I want the spirit of God to be a witness in my heart that the Lord has saved me and all my sins are forgiven. That assurance can be yours right now. Yeah. And then you'll not fear the future anymore. You'll not fear hell anymore. Because you know you are not going to hell. You are going, where are you going? As you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is your chance. You don't want to miss this chance. All those in various congregations, anywhere you are, in any country where you are, in your home there where you are, this is your chance. And you don't want to miss this chance. It's about and eyes are closed. You want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And you're saying, Lord, here I am, here I am. I know that you are my redeemer and I know that whosoever I am that whosoever will call on the name of the Lord shall be saved and salvation is available for me tonight. Raise up that hand. Where are you? Raise up that hand. I want to see you in front of me. Raise up that hand and then anywhere you are to the right, to the left at the center, as you raise up your hand, you surrender unto the Lord and say, Lord, here am I, here am I and totally completely I belong unto to you now and the Lord will enter. He'll be your savior. He'll be your redeemer. He'll take the guilt of sin away and all the condemnation of sin. He'll take everything away and then he'll say he is mine. She is mine. He will write your name in the book of life in heaven. It's up that hand I'm praying for you now father in the name of Jesus we thank you because you sent Jesus Christ to die for everyone, to be the sacrifice and the substitute for everyone. And as these come to you, anywhere, everywhere, online, in different places, different nations, and they call upon you now, I pray that you'll be the redeemer and the savior of every one of their lives. In Jesus' name.
confirm that salvation. Let a new life come now and let that new life become permanent in their lives in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, they will belong to you. They become citizens of the kingdom of God. We well, thank you. We know it is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you raise up your hand, keep up that hand. Uh, or soon release you now, just a few minutes. Uh, you've been staying for this long time, uh, and the blessing of God is upon your life already. You raise up your hand. The counselors will come there now. Any location where you are, any nations, any nation where you are, and if uh, you know you are online, uh, you see the information there online, and you give yourself to the Lord, and you give all the information, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Are we doing that now? I can't see any counselor there. Where are you, counselors? Counselors. Are you hiding somewhere? Come out, come out. And let's take uh, these names. Keep up your hand. Uh, keep up your hand. The Lord has seen you there. And we need to keep uh, your contact so that we'll see how to keep on uh, helping you. Counselors, are you attending to anyone so that we know what we are to do? Thank you. God bless you. Now, the Lord is my healer. The Lord is my provider. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my peace. The Lord is my righteousness. And the Lord is my plenitude. And the Lord is your Rafa, and is the Lord is your healer. Healing. Anyone, anyone there? Healing. Anyone expecting? I said anyone expecting the healing will come to you. The deliverance will come to you. Raise up one hand above the chair. Raise up one hand and then lay the other hand on yourself. The Lord will not fail you. After the final amen checkup, you are healed. You are delivered online anywhere you are this is your chance now to have this divine solution healing deliverance redemption and to make you more than a conqueror father in the name of jesus we thank you because you will never fail you are god and you change not lord jesus we thank you because you are our healer you are deliverer you are redeemer and you are the same yesterday today and forever we pray that now you will manifest your power and heal the sick in jesus name nothing will stand between you and the people who need your healing who need your deliverance and who need your redemption touch them everyone now heal them in jesus name anyway you are those blind eyes i command you be opened in jesus name limb legs paralyzed one rise up and walk in jesus name all those internal problems i command be healed in jesus name and every need every sickness every infirmity you are presented unto the lord the touch of heaven is upon you right now you are delivered in jesus name you are healed in jesus name the yoke is broken in jesus name and every curse is removed out of your life lord of heaven lord of power confirm it in everyone we well, thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. I am healed. I am delivered. The Lord has answered your prayer.